Hey guys, so Vegan Gaines put out a video on Frank Stefano this morning sometime, or maybe it was last night, but oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, I really debated not doing this, and I can tell you what, if I had hundreds of thousands of subscribers, there's no way I would do a video like this, but I figure the few people who do watch me already would maybe or will end up finding out about this so why not why not talk about it really quickly and um so yeah he exposed his um chat your bait account i think it is somewhere in this video and he basically it's like a porn site where you go and do live streams and i think you get paid for it and uh, yeah, you do sexual stuff in front of an audience, and, um, what can you say? I mean, I almost didn't believe it was real, but I went and looked it up, and there, there are definitely live streams. There's two, actually, of Frank, and from 2015. So, I don't know. Maybe this was before he started his channel. Um, I don't, this seems really crazy to me. I don't know why somebody would do this who is planning on starting a big business, and, Especially denying you're gay because it's like an, a gay audience that is watching this particularly. So, um, I don't know. I would say, Frank, please just, if he would come out and say, look, you know what? I'm gay. I'm bisexual, whatever. Nobody could mess with him anymore. They couldn't say anything to him because then they would be considered, what, homophobic or whatever. So, yeah, if uh, they are giving him so much shit because of the fact that he's denying this and that it's it seems pretty clear to most people that he doesn't seem to be extremely straight. I mean, maybe he does like girls at, to some extent or another, but, yeah, I, it's it's really sad because... I feel like he doesn't want to be gay. Like, he's he wants to be this strapping, handsome, straight ladies man, you know. So, I would say, Frank, they cannot give you shit if you just own it. You own whatever it is you are, whatever it is you feel. And, you know what? It is nobody's business. You know, you may be saying that, and you're right. It's nobody's business but you know how people are. I mean, I would like to see how he comes in response to this, if he will even acknowledge it at all. I think he will have to. I mean, just because Vegan Gains has a large audience. And um, I would say in his defense, I don't know if this would really be in his defense, but um, he has stated before when being accused, he has said, and I quote, I've never had sex with a man, so I don't know how I would be gay. And I thought that was a very odd thing to say in response to being called gay. And I think this may be true. You know, I think that he may not have ever done this. So I think maybe, you know, maybe he hasn't. Maybe he's never acted out anything that he's felt. Or maybe he's just done things like this on camera uh, for a gay audience. Maybe he's bisexual. It really is like nobody's business. And then he's confused us all with, you know, always making gay jokes, putting out content, calling other people gay. And then when people call him this, he says it's homophobic and he gets offended. So it's like a really confused mindset. And I think that's how he he views it himself. He Because he attributes this to estrogen and issues with our food system. I think because of that, it's become like an unnatural negative thing in his mind. And I'm not saying it is or isn't. That, like I said, you know, this is all individualized. And yeah, you know, it is what it is. I just figured I'd let the few people who <laughs> haven't heard about this yet. Um see what it is Big and Gaines has put up and um yeah I don't know Frankie may need our support more than ever right now mm -hmm.